In the innate immunity lab, they're breaking down Omicron into its genetic pieces, then replicating more of those pieces to study. To do that, we have to basically take the virus apart and evaluate all of its components and figure out which ones are playing a role in evading immunity. Michael Gale runs this lab. Multiple labs are involved. First samples of the virus are brought in under strict controls and then broken down. Then the non-infectious elements are brought here and tested step by step. Olivia's work is to figure out what the cellular targets of those things are. And then once we know them, what the targets are, then we can figure out a strategy to block the virus from hitting its target. Gale is hopeful and realistic. These labs compare samples of Omicron between some 100 people infected here in Washington state and even comparing them to samples from the East Coast and South Africa. The samples are not the same, but they're not all that different. It is good news. That means that the, um, the immune response that the previous variants and the vaccine have generated is keeping the virus in check. But could we make Omicron less infectious? If lung cells are innately able to fend it off, the cells in our noses in particular are not. What's restricting it in the lung might be useful on tell how to make a medication that can shut down replications. So that's good news. Yeah, it's good news. It, it means what we're dealing with is just a nasty cold for most people. So this kind of research can come up with new targeted vaccines and therapeutics for the next version of SARS-CoV-2, which is the virus that causes COVID-19, to where maybe it becomes like the flu, where we just get a new shot every year. In Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.